Hey, this Judge and Waits bringing you a hardcore team deathmatch on the map hijacked. I'm not going to be talking about this gameplay at all. Instead, I wanted to talk about the Xbox One versus the PlayStation 4. We got to see some more information, some more things about these consoles, and I kind of wanted to talk to them because I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys asking me which way am I leaning, which one am I going to be getting. Well, to be honest with you, my mind is not made up at this point. I've always been an Xbox user, though. I've never owned a PlayStation. So that says something. But let me talk about each of these things, and I'll kind of, at the end, tell you which way I'm leaning. But let's get into those differences. Let's start with hardware. Usually the PlayStation has an advantage over the Xbox, and that's usually why they're more expensive. I think that's still going to be the case with the PlayStation 4 compared to the Xbox One. The RAM seems like it's a little bit better. The CPU looks like it's a little bit better. But I don't think that's going to create a huge huge difference as far as the quality of games so I still want to give the nod though to the PlayStation 4 remember though I am no expert and don't claim to be uh, as far as exclusives we're talking about games that both of them are going to have that are going to be exclusive to the system both of these guys have some amazing games coming out I tell you what and this is probably going to be more are you an Xbox player or a PlayStation 3 player of which games look better but I tell you what Titanfall was the game that I was most excited about out of any of them so I'm going to give the nod to the Xbox One as far as exclusive games price all right definitely the nod goes to the PS4 being a hundred dollars cheaper I don't even think you can compare I was so surprised when the PlayStation 4 came out that much cheaper than the Xbox um, I think that's gonna be huge for gamers and everything like that uh, let's talk controllers I've always been a fan of Xbox controllers over PlayStations but this is personal preference so if you like the PlayStation controller I'm sure you're gonna keep on with that route and if you like the Xbox controller I'm sure you're gonna like this new one but for me I'm gonna give the controller nod or the lean towards the Xbox one when it comes to that you know I don't even want to talk about Bluetooth versus Wi-Fi as far as connection but uh, just feel I like the Xbox one a lot better now as far as the connect versus the move I have two young kids five and six and I tell you what they love using the connect it has its issues I won't pretend that it doesn't but as far as innovation I just like the connect a lot better than I like the move the move reminds me too much of the Nintendo which isn't bad or anything like that but as far as innovation I like the connect if they can improve it, I'm going to give the nod to the Kinect as far as the Xbox One versus the PlayStation 4. Now, when it comes to non-gaming things like, you know, connecting all your video and everything like that or community or social aspects, I really like the little button on the controller. You know, I think that's pretty cool for the PlayStation 4. Will I use it? Probably not. Uh, will I use the Xbox Ones, all that community and social things? Probably not. So I'm not going to give a nod to either one. I really could care less, to be honest with you I just want to play video games and I wish they'd concentrate more on that than anything so you know some people might give the nod to the Xbox one with all the things that it's going to be able to do I'm not giving that nod because I really just don't care about it now as far as used games and red tape of course I'm going to give the nod to the PlayStation 4 I am really surprised that Xbox is not backpedaling when it comes to this because for Sony to come out and say they're not going to do it and Xbox to do it I just think that's going to lead a lot of people towards the PlayStation 4 but to me really this is isn't an issue and I really don't care about the always on thing that a lot of people are complaining about because my Xbox is always connected to an internet connection so I really don't care about that I tell you what though if I was a soldier or something I would be extremely mad with it and I think they have every right to be mad about this feature and I think it's a bonehead move on Microsoft so I'm gonna give the nod to the PS4 as far as Xbox Live versus the PlayStation Network I'm gonna give the nod to the Xbox Live it just seems like it has a better infrastructure a better quality of competition more people on it I could be totally wrong keep in mind I've said this before I am NOT an expert but I think the Xbox Live network is better and I'm super excited to see what 300,000 servers are gonna do for this Xbox Live experience so given the nod towards the Xbox one uh, as far as DLC I think the Xbox one once again gets the nod they're gonna get Call of Duty titles a month ahead of time if I I wasn't a youtuber this would mean nothing to me I would totally not care about this but being a youtuber and wanting to get content up as soon as possible after it comes out and wanting to be the first one out you know this is huge for me so I'm gonna give the nod that way now the final thing and probably the most important thing though comes down to where are my friends going with these systems and that's what I'm looking for your input where are you going uh, please in the comments leave me what you are currently playing on and 
what you are leaning towards going with. I'd love to just get your feedback on all of this, you know, and everything. But I personally am leaning towards the Xbox One. But it's like I'm almost trying to find a reason to go with that. So I don't know if I'm going to stay with that. But let me know what you think. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. As always, though, take care and God bless.